Hilton Towers is home to many unique attractions, most of which break some insane records. The first vertical drop roller coaster at 87 degrees, same thing. The first ever free fall drop on a roller coaster, and of course, the infamous one, the first roller coaster to have wooden fire fused together. Of course, I am joking. The most famous one is the roller coaster with the most inversions in the world at 14 on the Smiler. Located in the X Sector area of the park, the Smiler has been a fan favourite for years upon years, whether that be because of the 14 inversions on it or just the fact that the theme is about marmalising people. You never know, you like the Smiler. You might have been marmalised, although I like the Smiler. Oh god. In the past, I have answered some multiverse related questions regarding the theme park industry, specifically Alton Towers. Basically as if there was another dimension where the park was completely different. These videos include if Wicker Man was RMC'd, if Oblivion and Rita were both longer coasters. And today, you've seen the title and the thumbnail, I'm going to be answering what it would be like if the Smiler had zero inversions. Absolutely none. We don't like inversions around here airtime only. This is going to be such a stupid but difficult challenge and I'm so ready for it. Once again, before we begin, a massive thank you for all the support lately. It really does mean the world. If you are new around here and you want to see more videos just like this one, then please subscribe. There is plenty more videos on the way, so stay tuned for all of that, including an announcement next Friday. <laughs> So to envision this weird version of the Smiler, I'm going to be using the usual Planet Coaster, and I'm going to be taking Distant Zed's Smiler recreate. Shout out to you. I have their Smiler recreation here because it looks insane. And I'm going to be removing the entire layout to make way for a retract version with no inversions. Family friendly, you know, no loop-de-loops. So we are here on the map. As you can see, the coaster is going around nice and smoothly there. That's all good. But... Why did Oblivion just splash out of the ocean? But the ride is looking lovely. So, I remove half of it. so instead of just deleting the entire track like this, oh, I'm going to click the delete button. Why did I actually do it? Instead of deleting it, I'm going to go through the entire layout, and whenever I get to an inversion, so every five centimeters, I'm going to remove it completely and update it with something completely different. And of course, the first port of call is down this way in this inversion here. What on earth am I going to do with that? Let's begin our track maintenance program. It looks, it looks all right. There's just a floating door. So if we have a quick look at the POV so far, we've got the smoke jets coming down. And here we go. Around the corner, around the bend. It's Dan and his friends. You know what? That wasn't actually too bad. Oh my ears. And we'll head up here super quick down into the second. Oh, what jewel! Oh my word, what a jewel that was. That's the only jewel you can find at Alton Towers anymore. Oh my god, that looks so odd. Just seeing a train rather than just going all the way inverted. Nope, it's just going to go outwards. Oh, that was quite nice, you know. I like how that runs, that was quite smooth. On to this thing here. Oh god, if I left it like that, it'd be an icon Immelman situation. Is it an inversion or is it not an inversion? Here we go. Up it comes. That's not too bad again. It's got a little bit of a jolt to it, but <laughs> so does the real thing. It, it, it sort of works. And one element of the ride can stay. It's the airtime hill in the middle. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make it an inversion. And this is where the ride is going to change a lot because this is the Staffordshire knot with the Cobra roll and the... I just got rid of my work. And the bat wing. So, um, obviously, those are both two inversions each. I can't keep them in. I'm <laughs> trying... It's not very symmetrical, as you can see, but um, it sort of works. Gotta smooth it out, smooth it, smooth it out, smooth it. Okay, that looks a bit better now. 
It's still not symmetrical. And that right there, if it does make it, it did, is the first section of the ride complete. Now time to do it all over again. I want to die. There we go, I think I perfected that one exactly how I wanted to do the first drop. You've got that nice little wave turn there. It's, it's more of just an overbank, but sure. Twisting all the way down to the ground and into... I don't know what number inversion that is. There it goes. I really like that one. That's probably my favorite part of the ride. <laughs> This is um turning out to be a lot trickier than I thought it would be. I'm not sure this element would be nice on ride, but I'm going to try it anyway. <laughs> I was going for the non-inverting loop style sort of twist, like you see on Conda. I want to see if this is at all brutal, because if it is, then oh god. Oh god. And we'll go into the Cobra Roll. Now the Cobra Roll is mostly quite not steep for an inversion. So I'm very tempted to literally just do do that. But then I might also have to sort out this little intersection issue here. God damn, there's a Heartline Roll missing. It's looking a bit like Colossus right now. That may potentially be what looks like the worst recreation of the Smiler ever, but it's not supposed to be a recreation because it's got no virtue. So technically, it, it's just shit. It's just a bit of fun. Anyway, here's the POV. I don't know why I decided to bring that on you now, but enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> 